Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GCSE science teacher and in today's video we're going to be learning about isotopes for GCSE physics. If you do enjoy the video feel free to give it a like, share it with someone else and please do subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your support. So let's go back to the beginning where we look at atomic structure and I do have a video on the atom. I'll link this at the end of the video for you if you haven't seen it and a lot of the content actually in this topic does link to GCSE chemistry as well so I will link a playlist that will kind of coincide with this information information. But just remember that in the atomic structure, every atom has a nucleus or the center of the atom, which contains the majority of the mass. So the protons, which are positively charged, and the neutrons, which are neutral. Also remember that the electrons surround the nucleus in electron shells and they have a negative charge. The overall charge of the atom is zero because the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So we can also say as well, like I said, the majority of mass is in the center of the atom or the nucleus. And this is because the protons actually have a um, a relative atomic mass that's quite large. And we can find the mass number by looking in the periodic table, the biggest number there will equal the number of protons and the number of neutrons. The other number that's in the periodic table, as you can see, that's just the number of protons, that's the atomic number as well. So what actually are isotopes? Well, they're different versions of an atom. So every atom of the same element can have different numbers of neutrons, but the same number of protons. Now, it's really important that those proton numbers stay the same because this will influence how many electrons there are. Remember, as I said, the overall charge of an atom is zero. And that's because if you have five protons, you'll also have five electrons. Those charges cancel out. But the number of neutrons can differ. And this is where isotopes have formed. So if you think about this example here, you can see the number of protons is exactly the same. There's two in each case as there's two electrons in the outer shell. However, the number of neutrons slightly differs, and that's really important for you to know that definition. So some students will confuse the word isotope with ion, and it's really important you know the difference because they're not the same. Remember, an atom has an overall charge of zero because the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. And an isotope is just the different version of an atom by having different numbers of neutrons but the same number of protons and electrons. An ion is a charged particle, meaning that a metal ion can actually be positively charged. It's actually called a cation because it has actually lost an electron and donated it to become more stable. However, a non-metal ion is actually a ion which has gained an electron. It becomes more negative because it has more electrons and it's all to do with stability and actually becoming an atom that is stable through ionic bonding. Thanks for watching everyone. I've been the GCSE science teacher and you have been curious. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to stick around by subscribing. Check out my other videos on biology, chemistry and physics GCSE content by having a look at the playlist that I have on my channel. You can also find any of my videos by simply clicking on one of the links on the side. And also I have an Instagram and TikTok where I post lots of revision content. All of it is at the GCSE science teacher. So feel free to have a look on those socials as well. In the meantime, have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.